This is a song that Tracy wrote the lyrics to and I came up with guitar parts. This is called Garth Brooks. <laughs> back in August, it was like when we first started everything, and we were actually practicing a song, and it was just kind of silly, because I said to Mike, I was like, so, you need to play that boy chord, and he was like, excuse me? And then that just turned into a fiasco, and we always have these like laughing fits when we practice, it's like always going to happen. Um, it's because there's usually three little Tracy's dancing around on the same screen when we're recording. <laughs> oh boy. Um, and you don't warn me about these things. These are the little Tracy's. They're all on the bottom. All oh, the they're all filters? Yeah. Uh, all the different filters. They're all little Tracy's. <laughs> but 2 o'clock in the afternoon, after a half hour chat, they're pretty creepy. But, okay, so, um, basically, like, later on, I was at a train concert. And I texted him, and I was like, so we both like whiskey, and you're a boy chord, so why not whiskey chords? And then he was like, yeah, that sounds great. So then we decided that fit us perfectly. I've actually been singing for a really long time, so when I met Mike, it just, it was perfect. And he sings too, so, I don't know, music is definitely where my heart is, and I don't think, even if I wanted to stop singing, I wouldn't be able to. Like. It's part of it. Um, I've actually been in music since I was a kid. I grew up in Pennsylvania Youth Grouse, so when I was from second grade on touring, you know, with choirs and learned a lot about music that way. Um, middle school, I did music classes. I was a music major in high school and just kind of took off from there. I was with Paul Green School of Rock for a while and it's always been, always been in my life and my family. I used to run around my house when I was five in an orange jumpsuit and I had a, an air guitar. That was my first guitar playing, and then I picked up a real guitar when I was 16. Um, my first guitar was a QVC Special, and it was a blue acoustic guitar. And that lasted me a couple years until I really started getting into it. I'm up to 10 guitars. I have two mandolins, one that I restored that was from 1880s. And I also have a fiddle that I have yet to learn how to play, but it's going to happen. I play piano, more keyboard. But um, I'm trying to learn violin. I don't know if it's actually going to work out, but we'll see in a few years. Maybe next time? In your dreams. Always. things a lot of the time lyrics and she'll come up to me and be like write me a guitar part and it usually happens pretty quick too you're like all right pour me a shot of jack when you get back i'll have some down and uh that's <laughs> that's that's how it's been and or, you know it works it works the other way around i'll have a cool guitar part or some lyrics and a melody and, and run it by her and she'll usually finish exactly what i was thinking about yeah i love him to death <laughs> he really is my other half like we finish like like, I'll be thinking something, and this actually helps on stage, too. Like, if something goes wrong, like, I'll look at him, and we just know. And then we just, we smooth right back into it. Yeah, yeah, we, we talk with, like, I don't know, weird eye movements, and I, I don't know. Like, wavelengths. Wavelengths. There, there's <laughs> definitely wavelengths, because there's been moments when I don't have 
to say anything. And I just know. And it happens a lot. So he's definitely my other half. I watch you build and break them down. My grandfather was a country singer. He was in a pole. It was more of bluegrass, so I kind of just followed in his footsteps, I guess. But country has always been a huge part of me. It was part of me growing up. And I don't think I could sing anything else. I like cool western clothes. I love, I love country. It's cool to be able to bring modern stuff into country and to, to have that image, you know, it's, it's be able to elaborate a little bit more and have things that stand out a little bit more. And uh, you can really take that into the industry today and that's pretty cool. <laughs> National Guard been in for two years. I'm currently a specialist um, up in, up around here, and I've gotten to go some cool places. Being in the military, been to Arizona, New Mexico, South Carolina, so so um, it's definitely been pretty awesome. It doesn't really ever affect the band in a negative way. I think it's made me kind of more aware. I'm, I'm definitely technically very focused. I need to have everything very very tight and, and perfect. Um, so attention to detail, it's definitely, <laughs> definitely a bad habit of mine. And I'll re-record something until, you know, until it's perfect, and, and Tracy's the same way. Aside from that, you know, it's just, it's, just, it's given me a, a drive. You know, I buy the same thing that I do in the military to the band. It's just like, it's just like another job for me, I love it. <laughs> We have Eric Stedman, he helps us out with that. He does a lot of work for us, he's awesome. We actually do have a lot of fans now. Um, we're starting to have people come out and actually come up to us. When we started out on Reverb Nation, which is kind of how we originally got our music out there, and still to this day has been really helpful. Um, we were floating around, you know, 100 in the 90s, and then it, we just kind of flew up the charts. And yeah, and now we've been in the top 10. Just hanging in there, and we play out, it's really cool too, because people come up and we try to talk to you know, as many people as we can when we're out. And uh, they're always really supportive, and, you know, telling us how, how it's going to go, and we're going to keep going on. I just want to see us performing, like being able to do what we love. Yeah. That's it, it, it is. I don't. I don't really. It doesn't matter how big the venues are. The, the what's going to be cool is getting the bigger shows because there's we're going to get more people. It's just playing more people. That's it's yeah. awesome. <laughs> Round of applause. All the applause. <laughs>